Shane. Um, we finished Shane Dawson. We finished uh, last night. We watched Shane's new main channel video. That was kind of a wreck. No, a new documentary episode. No way. He didn't just post a new documentary. Oh my God! He posted another one. Okay. I told Jeffrey I wanted to film my actual reaction pulling up to his house because- No! How did we get even further back? In the last episode, he kept cutting between modern day and early 2020, and now we're- we're December of 2019? What the f- I've been avoiding all the spoiler videos, all the leaks. I've seen one picture, but I'm really scared. I don't know what to expect. It's- from what I've heard, it's a castle. Oh my god, these houses are really fun. Oh. Oh. My God. My God. Uh, Jeffrey, I think your house is too big. <laughs> Two and a half years later. Like, what's the significance? Yeah, I'm scared of this gigantic Beverly Hills mansion. Shane Dawson, so relatable. So Jeffrey just FaceTimed me. And remember in the closet a few hours ago when I told you that I was nervous I didn't know why, but... Dude, I can hear the fucking hiss of the fucking camera microphone. And then he FaceTimed me. And first of all, Maddie was there, which I'm so excited. She's Jeffrey's assistant. And I think she quit in 2020. I don't know why exactly. You don't know why? You know she was Jeffree Star's assistant, right? But she's back. So we're gonna see her, which is really exciting. I think she's picking us up from the airport, which like, I'm really- He's so grease-coated. <laughs> ah! Also the screen I paused on. Oh my God. Why does he look like this? On the FaceTime, he was like, just letting you know. And then he said something that was something he wants to talk about tomorrow. What a natural shot. Which is something I, I don't know how I feel about. It's like gonna be a thing for sure that people are gonna be like, what? But also, I kind of disagree with him, and I don't think it's a good idea. What 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 are you talking about? You have to say an object in the sentence. Thing that I'm none of this has been planned. So is that a bad thing? I, I, it's basically a huge life went from change like, that oh, he's going to see. Very yeah, now it's deal. literally like, when he told me, I was like, he's trusting huh? me, huh? and then he just was like, "Okay, stop talking about this conversation. You've been talking about it for five minutes. Shut the fuck up." Yep. Boom. And then my stomach went. Boom! <laughs> you already said this. You already said that it was a big deal. Stop. Well, here's what I will say. It's going to be very full circle. I'm the circle. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to make another pallet. And I got a stick bug. It's just going to be another pallet and they're going to call it canceled or something. Like, that's it. Although, you know what? On a less scary side, he did say that tomorrow night they're launching his uh, Star Yak Burger at a steakhouse in Casper, so... Kind of fucked up. Like, listen, I'm no vegan or anything, but it's the fact that Jeffree Star uses his yaks for content and constantly, like, is, like, playing with them on camera and riding them for pictures and shit like that. And then you're gonna turn around and eat them. It's like, oh, that's fucking strange. Also, like, his life is so different now. It's gonna be interesting to see, like, his $20 million mansion. He sold that. Hi! How are ya? Ow. Fuck my ears, dude. Why? Now he's living in, like, what I assume is a normal house. No shot. He's gonna live in a $10 million mansion. I definitely looked up the address and then Googled it and saw how much it cost. <laughs> Not, I wasn't trying to. Yeah, 1.1, but that's like equivalent to a $20 million LA mansion. Also, are you really gonna tell me that's a normal house? There's three garages on the screen, Shane. New series, new year, new me, white jacket. Don't pan down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm confident this year, guys. That's my thing. Why does it look like he got hair gel and went to his hair and just went like this. It always looks like that. It's so weird. I'm second guessing everything. I thought we were dressing to impress. Why are his backpacks always so small? <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready? Oh, Chris. <laughs> I like traveling. I don't know if you know this about me. Oh, I like traveling, just not with, you know, Elton John. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you guys encouraged it. What are you talking about? The glasses are whack. That's dude, this looks horrible, dude. What's the little mad scientist man 
from Breath of the Wild. Yeah, he looks like Robbie. <laughs> he looks like Robbie. <laughs> he also <laughs> he also kind of looks like he looks like Martin Water. <laughs> he kind of looks like Martin Lisa. He's just wearing baby glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it do look like baby glasses. The guy that they have to like strap to the baby's head because he can't see without them at all. That's what it looks like. Did you notice something today about me that's different? The jacket? No. Good. Keep going. Um. Um. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate this game. I'm scared. scared. No, look at my crunch. Look. What? Did you sew it? No. Oh, the hole. No, I got new pants. I love that, like, everyone was expecting him to still be wearing the same pants. Like, Rylan's first thought was, like, there's no way he changed clothes. He always wears these pants, so he must have, uh, he must have sewn the hole shut rather than just wearing a different pair of pants. Okay, I'll see you soon, but just know that this feels so right. Because it's with you. Ew, 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 ew. I never wanted to hear that. I never wanted to hear Jeffree Star in my ear like that. Because it's with you. <laughs> Did you remember the palette? It is the point of the trip. My big concern at the moment is the palette. When I used to have to protect the conspiracy palette before it came out, like that was a big deal, and Jeffrey was just like, I'm not fucking lose it. And I was just like, I promise I won't. Oh. Oh, he's so icky, so icky. Do you think Jeffrey and Shane have had relations? Probably. Here's my theory. I think Shane and Ryland have an open relationship, and that's the only re reason Ryland is still there, because he's getting piped by other men and just sticking around and living a very easy life. Also, we just ran into a girl, and she had the palette with her. Isn't that crazy? Two years later, like, maybe it's a sign. Dude, the music is too loud. You know? Should I give her the cancel palette? Oh. Hell, what? Huh? Also, the cancel palette. I was right. They literally are making a palette called cancel. That's the big reveal. His backpack is too small and it's too low. Pull that shit up. What is going on? So, I'm regretting my white jacket choice because, uh, Definitely doesn't hide my sweat. <laughs> Ew, dude, come on. I know that you've told me this a million times that everything goes in cycles and I don't know, I just feel like his po oh my god, his posture. How? Posture check. Uh, god damn. This is my travel outfit. I can't be seen in Wyoming like this. You know there's a custom change. Oh, of course. <laughs> Music is too loud, Shane. The music is too loud. Quick outfit change. Oh my god. <laughs> Heinous. This is awful. Like, I'm all for camp. I'm all for dressing like a cowboy and going fucking balls to the wall when you go to Wyoming. That's great. That's fun. That? Nothing. The worst fit I've ever seen. And in the bathroom, it literally was like, don't spit your tobacco in the urinal. And I was like, this is so Jeffrey. <laughs> Speaking of Jeffrey. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's Maddie. <laughs> that <laughs> Oh my god. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Wyoming. Hey. <laughs> the walk, I know. Why does he walk like that? Because he's an alien trying to live among us. So Chris? Yes? I know you don't uh, know me and Maddie that well, but uh, Shane and Ryland really hold a special place in our hearts, so when we knew they were coming, I said, oh God, when are we gonna pick up Shane and I don't want him to like be embarrassed, you know? <laughs> like a, 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 a Prius, a Ram truck. <laughs> and I was like, no, we, we can't do that. So we actually just bought the all brand new electric Hummer. <gasps> oh. There's only 1,500 in America and this one somehow got one. Somehow, you're a millionaire. What do you mean somehow? Now you may have seen me and Shane and Ryland uh, in our last series giving off a lot of emissions on the planet with all those private jets. <laughs> We've gone green now. <laughs> ah! God, the audio in this video is fucking dog shit. I need to leave a comment about it. <sighs> Chris.
commenting on everything is my favorite, but also scares me. Well, it's going to be great because one day you're going to be like looking at some random video and then you'll see an Ethan comment underneath and it'll be funny. Oh my God. Wow. Remember last night when I literally said Shane purposely chooses the most ugly font imaginable for everything? God damn, dude. Not spawn. What do you mean, not spawn? I can't believe you're on TikTok. I mean, I can't even open that app. I'm so scared. Yeah. I feel like every time I open it, it's somebody, like, one of those videos where it's, like, me from far away, and there's, like, a, a robot lady, like, I, I saw, saw Shane, Shane at the mall, mall and he was, was, you know. I know. Better in person. That's the... <laughs> yeah, that's what... That's what people say about Shane. That's that's all they say about you. I'm scared people think I'm fat. Um, here's the thing about that. No one's thinking about you that much. <laughs> like, you don't look at other people in public and think very specific things about them. And if you do, they probably don't match their insecurities. And take it from someone whose insecurities are constantly poked at by fucking losers on the internet. Like, the mean comments that I get are the kind of things people think about themselves and are worried other people will say to them. That's how they even know to say it to hurt someone else's feelings in the first place. It's all just fucking projection. You're seriously cute, you don't listen to the insults? Thanks. I would just want people thirst following me, you know? I need to be able to, like, post pictures of myself, and then, like, the only reason people interact with me is because they think I'm hot, like a sex worker. Like, all the comments of sex workers posts are just, like, a bunch of people, like, fully simping. <laughs> That's what I need. Uh. I got risotto, and I got homemade bread. <sighs> okay. And we are always safe. Um, Chris, if you ever feel like you are unsafe, don't worry. I got oh you. My oh my god! Don't worry, I got you Okay. Yeah, and we can, we can give you guys a shooting lesson later. I am way too high to sit down and come back to that. The silencer is crooked? No way. Oh my god, it is! <gasps> the silencer's not on right. You try to shoot that, it's gonna explode. Shoot it. Do a shooting lesson. <laughs> Also, yeah, you don't need a silencer. That's what they use that for assassinations. At an airport! He's at an airport with a silencer! Here you go, pal. Oh, oh. oh okay, so am I not allowed to? Oh, yeah, of course you are. So. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you just don't okay. grab it with your finger on the trigger. We don't want no, to shoot no. the new hummer. No, 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 no. So whenever you grab a gun, it's either like this or with the finger always over the trigger. <gasps> okay. Yeah, and never towards anyone. I... <laughs> <laughs> Literally pointing at him, so Shane's about to point it at him. <laughs> you were pointing it at his leg. Yeah. So then, look. Then you go like this. Let me see this finger. There. She Wait. Goes. No. Don't. No. No. Over the over. trigger. There. Okay. So it's safe and don't pull. There it is. Yay. Oh. <laughs> I love this image. Just him holding the gun, and the title of the video is "The New World of Jeffrey Star." What made you pick Wyoming? There's no one here. <laughs> so he can do murder and get away with it. This car is silent. He literally can't hear me. That was so nice that you stopped. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, <laughs> I was literally about to say, I was literally about to say, they're gonna stop the music and it's gonna be funny. I've moved really quickly of like shedding things. Like I don't want 5,000 purses anymore. And I think I projected that so loud of like, hey, I came from nothing. You can really do it all. And I was so loud with it where I then later became disgusted with it all and didn't want to be surrounded by all this materialistic shit. Yeah, that's a lesson that they teach kindergartners. Sometimes, when you have everything, you get to feel out like you don't have anything. This is a lot of shit. It's like overwhelming. Like, I almost feel like it was another lifetime ago. Like, why I would never do this now. <laughs> Yeah, you're really not- you're really not materialistic in your fucking home theater. Look at you now. Wait, so are you officially, like, done? Oh, yeah, we're done. I've been a resident here for almost- for about two years now. It's been two years? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Time flies when you're farming! <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, no one talks like that here. I'm doing over a stupid Texas. <laughs> uh, twang. <laughs> so... For later, and this is something that Wyoming is really known for, minus we can find dinosaur bones literally anywhere you walk around here. Wyoming That's in America cool. has I like that. the most craziest ghost activity. No! Oh. The energy in this state is fucking nuts. So. He's about to be like, and also, there's um, a lot of conspiracy theorists here. Honestly, the intense energy that happens when me and you were together, I feel like it would open up a portal to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I 
think we did that. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, you did that by being pedophiles and sexual abusers. You did that. Those are your actions. People who talk about cancel culture constantly are always like, oh, what if it happens to someone innocent? There's no fucking worry in my mind that these two men are innocent of the things that people accuse them of on the internet because innocent people don't act like this. They don't constantly make jokes about it because you use humor to cope with the fact that they're bad people. Anyway, Kitten, you are taking too long to reply. You're making Daddy Kitten angry. Grr, meow. Hey, when I said I wanted simps, and I wanted people thirst following me. This is not what I mean. This is not what I wanted. Honestly, I wasn't even scared because if I die with you, it's so full circle. No. <laughs> Jeffrey almost said the arsler when he was doing a Texas accent. All right, let's see. Where was it? They were in the car, right? By the way, no one talks like that here. I'm doing everyone has stupid Texas. <laughs> a, a stupid uh, Texas. That's awesome. I can't believe I missed that. Hey, listen, we can clown on the guy for being a bad person and an abuser and all that. We know he sucks, but think about it this way. Glass half full, even he wouldn't say the arsler. Even he's trying to make the change on camera. May you know what? I'm gonna go with the assumption that he is just trying to change his behaviors. You know, sometimes you slip into bad habits, but I think he's just trying to change himself for the better. This is what Elon defenders sound like, don't they? Can't tell if it's his shit personality or the South rubbing off on him or both. The South? South of what? Canada? <laughs> Rip, I don't know my states. I just think it's funny. Southern culture is very different. This is like fucking cowboy shit. And Texas has that too. But like you're talking like the South, it has its own vibes and its own culture that's very different from Wyoming. Texas is very much part of Southern culture. Southern Texas is. This is still cowboy shit. But like, yeah, like Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, these, this, you know, Austin's liberal but it fucking sucks yeah but it's i mean i'm still ta i'm talking about southern culture outside of just like bigotry because a lot of people do think that like the south and bigotry are just like interchangeable terms like the south is just where like a bunch of bigots live which is just like coincidentally the case but like there are cool southern people that have like their own cool southern culture so in hidden hills with that big mansion i was on two acres out here i'm on 600 acres what yeah wow. just me and what the ass, How, what yeah. does that even mean how big is that Banana milk 42069. Thanks for the gifted sub. Wait, no shot. Wait, 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 wait. No way. My first time to you stream in Jefferson Star is not on the screen. Wait, are you telling me this is a coincidence? What did I do? No, you are the chosen one. Last night we were talking about banana milk and how good it is. But their account was made in 2020. What if it's Drew? Is it you, Drew's food reviews? No, LMAO, my name is Kyle. <laughs> Listen, we're glad you're here. I cannot believe that. That's the craziest coincidence I've ever seen. Much love to Kyle. Hi. <gasps> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yes. of course. You would have like a Disneyland entrance. Every ranch has this, because ranchers are theater kids. And just like my McLaren, I thought the gate doors had to open, uh, you know, the correct way. Oh. That just looks stupid. Like, he literally wasted money on that. That's crazy. Yeah, he's not materialistic anymore. Also, Shane, Chris, Do something! This is not a video! This is a white screen because no one knows how to make videos on here. Oh Lower the f-stop. Turn the brightness down on the camera. Wait, what's this? A cooler for a... Well, no, it's empty now. Full of, yeah, ground. This dude lives on 600 acres of empty property. Has a gun on him at all times. Lives in a town of probably like Couple thousand people. And has a full-size freezer you could absolutely fit a body in. Jason, 
You got the fucking hobbit in the background. Things Jeffrey has, a human-sized freezer, a silent car, and a silent gun. Right? I think we should be concerned. I didn't even think about the silent car. All those for what? How do you think they get the yak meat? So, how many pallets have you done since conspiracy? Oh, good question. Fuck, man. We are revealing the follow-up to the iconic internet-breaking conspiracy palette. Oh my god, you have bloodlust. Let's open up the bloodlust palette. Oh my god. Woo! Pricked. Woo! Banana fetish. The banana fetish palette. Oh You're so bad. God. The orgy palette. Oh my god. The blood money palette. Stop. Finally, Jeffrey Star skin. I'm selling my own skin. Yay! <laughs> I have footage of, and we'll talk about it later. But yeah. we had a palette we were gonna do after conspiracy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I brought it. And uh, <laughs> launches this November. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me they're making another palette. They are. They literally are. They have to be. Earlier in the video, Rylan was like, "Don't forget the palette. That's the whole point of the trip." And then Shane was like, "I saw someone at the airport, and they recognized me. Should I?" give her a cancellation palette. And then Jeffree Star was like, it launches this November as a joke. And then Shane gave him a funny look as if it wasn't gonna happen. These videos are coming out in the beginning of November because the last one's gonna be a plug. It's all to build hype for this. Shane's gonna make the blackface palette. <laughs> what if this video took a turn and it's actually just Jeffrey announcing that he's running for office? <laughs> Wait, this is the first pass, yeah. and I feel like, oh my god, wait, even just going over it with my phone, it's fucking good. It's really good. It's not good. Yeah, it's like fucking gray and white. Call that the White Pride Essentials Collection. But yes, you guys, I am officially selling yak meat. You can make meatballs from this, hamburgers, tacos, oh my god. The yak thing is very real. Look at these big cuts, you guys. Stop, Delicious. what the fuck? Like so have you like given birth? <laughs> When they're giving birth, do you like do help? <laughs> like so, yeah, it's really hardy. You don't really need to help them ever. They let me be right next to them during the birth, so I had a blood splash on me, and, and I got to rub on the baby, like because they'll stand ten minutes after. So then, like, you, but you don't put your hand in the axe or anything. I was just thinking about you can to preg check them. Do you do that? Yeah, you can. You put on the clear glove and you go up to here. <laughs> You could get a video of a veterinarian doing that. You didn't have to get the video of the woman doing it while screaming. Does it hurt them? No. We can put a GoPro on the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's a TikTok. Yeah, I hope you guys <laughs> Employee! Literally, dude, that is on-camera evidence of sexual harassment. If she wanted to sue, she could sue and destroy Jeffree Star. Like, I, I hope that's the only reason Chris still films for Shane. So he could fucking come to court with hours of evidence. Okay. Okay, so what's down here? <laughs> you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's go. Come on, Zerk. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. He said, I just like being more grounded, you know? I don't need all the things. So it's literal arcade. Yeah, he's not materialistic anymore. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that's so scary. He looks like a vampire. How is he in the same exact pose? Also, how'd you get 210, you idiot? It's my little homage to the baby. Why did that's I think- so... <laughs> my love. Why did I think these were his parents? <laughs> I was like, oh, daddy star. I don't need to look at the other one. It probably says mommy star. <laughs> In these tiny little, these tiny little urns. 
And then, when did you want to talk about... Quitting YouTube? Stop. Oh! <laughs> You're going there that quick? <laughs> Is that real? Uh, it might be. Might be. Mm -hmm. Might be time to hang up my button. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize he still was on YouTube. That was the reveal, oh, maybe. It can't really be that shocking to you guys, right? Like, it's really shocking. I don't, I don't know anything about this guy, and I knew I, it's not really shocking to me. No one watches it anymore. No one That's cares. That's not true. It's very true. I mean, it's hard out there for everyone on there's YouTube no, right there's now. Literally no point for me to Dude, do Chris it. is literally covering the microphone on the camera with his hands. I heard him muffle the left channel. What's wrong with him? If it brings you more sadness than it does joy, not even sadness of like, there's no views, joy of creating like, videos for who? For what? No one's clicking them anymore. So, no one cares about YouTube. Yeah, no one's clicking anymore. Like, yeah, you have 15 million subscribers and you don't get tens of millions of views anymore. Like, yeah, of course not. You got canceled. But to say that, like, no one's watching anymore is pretty crazy. Yeah, people care about YouTube still. Imagine being so narcissistic to be like, oh, I'm not getting as many views. It must be because people don't like the platform anymore. So it's time to hang up my fucking hat. Yeah. And focus so on other things. You should be smiling and laughing. YouTube sucks. <laughs> no hey. Ah, come on, no. man. You suck. No, no, literally no one's clicking anymore. You're I'm going to lose my fucking, fucking mind. Time. And so we are. You summertime, summertime. Dude, this is baffling. To be what is to be continued? You hanging out with your friend? This series means so much to me. What is it a series of? What are you doing? Well, I didn't even know we had to watch that today, but we did.